know how far we came if you know where we been How many n you know can happen to be Be honest with yourself, don't you know Okay, I'm about to show you guys how to do triangle parts if you're playing with triangle parts. I think both of my videos on here are with square parts, so we're just going to switch it up a little bit. Just hold down for me really quick. Again, this style is best on 4C hair, 4B, 4C, to get the best results. However, you can get it on looser curls, but to get the best result, 4C hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and start parting. And if you guys watch my other videos, I just like to line the part with product to make it more clean. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I just like to start my triangles in the middle because I think that may, that helps me level them and get them more even. So I just jump in the middle and start off with a diagonal line. That's the best way for me to get a good triangular part. Now I'm just eyeing it. There we go. All right, so you guys see that's one trunk well one slant line. I'm going to turn to the other side. And then do another slant. Line it with the product. And actually, I think this is my only client who gets triangle. I love doing it. He loves being different. I like that he's different. Perfect. So you have the perfect triangle. And I'm about to go ahead and speed up the rest of it so you guys can kind of see. Okay, I was having a little bit of trouble. Everybody here is going to be different. I'm such a perfectionist that I like all the um, parts to be triangle, but sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. So we have four, one, two, three. We have four parts. Three of them are triangle, and one is kind of like a slanted triangle. But as I go towards the top, then I'll make more of them triangle. So you guys just keep looking. If you're a perfectionist, then and you can get it right, go for it. But me, I work on the time schedule, so you just got to keep going. This is the first row right here. Again, I'm a perfectionist, but if I sit here all day trying to part them perfect, we will be here all day. So um, this is the first row, and I'm going to speed up the second row. So this is the one I was talking about. It's not fully a triangle, but it still goes in a slant motion. So it'll be okay. It'll be okay. better on this row I got all of them perfect going straight across all of my triangles on this one neither one of them are an odd figure so as you get um as you get closer to the top it's more space to do more triangles so you're more likely to get a perfect triangle so I'm just showing you guys the step I like to part um, I like to braid it dry on the roots so that the part can stay crispy and then I'm just gonna spray the bottom with water to let it draw up a little bit. Now, it's up to you. You can go ahead and do the whole head and all the triangles, or you can do one row at a time. Sometimes I do the whole head, sometimes I do one row at a time. His hair is so thick, I'm just gonna do one row at a time, because that's how I like to do it. Spray this with water. And I'm also using all the same products from my last video, so if you do not know which products I'm using, just go ahead, go ahead to my last Double Strand Twist videos, and you'll see. So I'm about to go ahead and speed up the twist process. If you follow the instructions, <laughs> voila. If you follow instructions, your twist should look like this. If they're not looking like this, rewind and start over. So I'll be back. I'm about to go ahead and speed up the rest of it. And I'll be back when I get closer to the top. Because y'all, I'm on the time limit. Yes, I'm talking with my hands. I'm on a time limit and I'm also trying to record for you guys. So.
on the last row so i came back because on my last video um some of you struggle with the top part so i'm going to show you if you do if you part in like a u shape you should come to this in the middle so all you do at the top is part straight down the middle and this is how you get your last two rows These are the P. This is for the people who were confused about what to do when you get to the top. And bam, I hope I helped you because this is all you do when you get to the top. Just part down the middle. There you have it. Now I'm about to clean it up. I always, as I keep saying, I always line the part with product so it can be more crispy. And then I just part over it again. Hold down a little bit for me. This is how I get my crispy parts. Have an excellent hair model right here. That's fine. So you're just gonna get your part as centered as possible. And it's okay if it's not perfect. This is coming from the Perfection Queen. It's fine if it's a little off, but let's get it as straight as you can. Don't get frustrated, you can't get it straight. The longer you do it, then the more easier it'll become and your parts will just get straighter and straighter over time. So do not get frustrated if it don't come out perfect the first time. And there you have it, a nice clean middle part. Jesus will walk straight through this. This is the completed look. I mean, listen, hide your mamas, hide your sisters, hide your daughters, okay? Because he's about to be out here in these Atlanta streets. This looks so freaking good. And if you're ready for it to be done, just um, the little parts that got moose in it, you're just gonna take your blow dryer and blow dry it on out. Blow dry it on out, okay? This is the end result. Mm -mm -mm. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Y'all see this? Y'all see this is getting to it. So if you do this, do not forget to tag me in. I want to see all you guys' this work. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys the next video.